Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host Scott Fry and I'm sure all of you are excited to see that the much anticipated guidebook on xylitol for parents is now up on our morethansmiles.org site. I've moved all our free oral health guides over to the More Than Smiles site now so go ahead and check those out and give them a look. So today we're going to be talking about a really cool topic, breakfast. Now, I'm sure somewhere along the way, uh, you've probably heard from your mother that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and she is absolutely right. So I have here a nifty little chart of the calcium concentration in your saliva over the course of the day. And you can see that it goes up and down. It's not constant. And when saliva, your saliva has a high concentration of calcium in it, your enamel is much harder to dissolve. And at times when it's very low, acids and sugars do a lot more damage to your teeth. So, unfortunately, breakfast sits right about here, right at the bottom of this chart, where the calcium concentration is about one-third of the concentration of calcium throughout the rest of the day. So, if you've ever been trying to turn the corner with your oral health and you feel like you've been spinning your wheels a bit, this would be why. As most of us, you know, go and eat breakfast in the morning, we eat lots of sugars. We eat OJ, other juices, um, we put jam on our toast, and those sugars in the morning do a ton of damage to our teeth and it takes a long time to recover. And we probably don't even get a chance, most of us anyway, don't get a chance to fully recover from the damage we did during breakfast. And then the process starts all over again the next day. So breakfast and fixing it uh, is really a low-hanging fruit that you can really grab hold of, meaning that it's something really easy for you to do that has huge returns. So what you want to do is go ahead and make sure that when you have breakfast in the morning, have a high-protein breakfast and make sure that you brush your teeth prior to eating breakfast. And we've talked about that in a previous post. Uh, you can go ahead and search over in the bar to the right um, for when you should brush your teeth and that should come up for you. Um, another thing you can do is to supplement your breakfast with some dairy products like milk in your cereal or yogurt so that way you're getting calcium that your saliva doesn't have in normally and that'll compensate a little bit for that. All of this stuff is in our Ideal Oral Health Routine ebook, and you can check out that over on the right-hand column. So go ahead and click on that if you're interested. I'll see you all next week.